Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are gonna prove the big one, the one and only, the most well-known theorem of all time, the Pythagorean theorem. Now before we do um, a, a little background on our, our good friend Pythagoras, he was chilling in his toga, probably strumming a lyre and pondering the secrets of the universe, when one day he stumbled upon a fascinating discovery. Legend has it that Pythagoras was obsessed with right-angled triangles, and in a moment of sheer genius, Pythagoras realized that the square of the longest side of the triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. How exciting! Before you shrug this off as cringe, remember that in the 500s, BC, in a world without iPhones or Spotify or Bitcoin, there wasn't much to do in your free time, so thinking about math was all the rage. But for real though, without Pythagoras' contributions to music, there would be no Taylor Swift. He pioneered the mathematical study of music and discovered that the most harmonious musical intervals are created by the simple numerical ratio of the first four natural numbers, which derive respectively from the relations of string length. The octave, uh, the fifth and the fourth, the sum of those numbers is 10, and 10 was what Pythagoras would call the perfect number because it contained in itself the whole essential nature of numbers. The great Heisenberg has called this formulation of musical arithmetic as among the most powerful advances of human science because it enables the measurement of sound in space. Okay, that's enough of a history lesson. Let's get back to the math. We are going to prove the Pythagorean theorem visually using a proof by dissection. First, we will begin with a right triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, such that C is the hypotenuse. Now, take these two line segments with length C and use them to dissect B squared we can rotate and translate the four resulting polygons so that their right angles match up with the right angles of C squared. Notice that the small square fits perfectly. Voila. Now we can see that the area of the larger square is equal to the sum of the areas of the two smaller squares, proving the Pythagorean theorem. Hence, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. QED. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.